Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Valix Fury here, and today I am going to build my Twine SSD from scratch. So we're going to start with SSD one, and how you need to build for that. And I'm going to make a video on all of them. This will show you how to build your SSD, and this will easily be able to get you through your one to ten. But anyways. Let's just hop straight into it. Uh, as you can see, I've cleared out everything in my twine. Nothing anywhere, I've got all my spaces to build. This is my uh, home base thing, whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna start on this side, to the east of the home base. This is where most of the waves come from, that side and this side. We're gonna start by we want to build out a metal, obviously. We want to wall all this off. All the way across here. If you load into this for the first time, you're probably going to have the the shield wall stopping you from being able to go all the way across, but just go across as far as you can. It's not, it's not super detrimental if you can't get all the way across. And then you want to go all the way across the top of the ramp. So at the bottom of the ramp, all the way across to the wall. Top of the ramp, all the way across. Simple stuff. And just for extra, you can build that wall there in case some cheeky buggers break through here and try and sneak up there. Jesus, that meteor was loud. And then just extra at the bottom of this ramp, we'll go all the way across to there. And then again at the top, we'll go all the way across and then we'll just like box that in so no little cheeky buggers can get up there. And then obviously upgrade all of this Oop, to level three. But I'm not gonna do that right now because the video will go for six years. But that's the main block off for this side. Like that's that's a lot of it. And then it's just blocking off this uh this corner here. Which we'll do like so. So we'll block that off with that L shape. And then here, here, and here. You wanna do this like that. And then this one here, I wanna go the other way, so it's like that. And then we can, if we really desperately want to, we can do that as well. This will be to force them, this is where we want them to go. So this is the block off, I'll show you again. We've pretty much just got walls all the way along the ramps, blocking them off. And then from this tile right here, we're going to place the floor, a floor, and then edit your roof pieces into ramps. Floor, floor, floor. And this is the path they're going to come up. And you wall these two off. And they're going to spawn like here somewhere. Around this area. And then walk up there. Now some of them will come around here. But the easy way to solve this problem is to come right here. Build your two walls. Build two pyramids behind it. Edit them one to the southeast. One to the northeast, so they make this like little half pyramid sort of thing. And then if you want, put two more walls behind it. And then on here you just put wall launches. One wall launcher there, one wall launcher there. And that'll, if you've got heaps of impact on them, it'll knock them down there or down there. And that's that blocked off. Now they won't come this side. And if they do, they get killed, so it doesn't matter. Now we're all going to spawn here and then walk up this way. So you want to go this, this, this. And then walls like that and that's your tunnel build and you just build traps on this so it doesn't really matter what traps you build you build whatever you want i like to build wall launches here on all of these ones and on that one on that one and then on these two and that'll shoot them down there so it's pretty much just the main thing is wall launches on the walls so you get a wall launcher that'll lob them across to there I'm not going to place my traps because I want to build all of my tunnels and then build the traps so I have. But the way the game works is you get a building limit, right? I'm sure everybody knows that everybody in their twine has built too much and doesn't let them build anymore. So the way to counteract that is you build all of your tunnels first. So build all of the metal you want to use. Build that up to the limit. Build 20, 10,000 pieces, whatever the limit is. Once you're at that limit, you can still then go and place traps on stuff after the limit. 
So if you build 10,000 walls, you can then go and place 10,000 traps. Whereas if you build, right now, if I built 5,000 walls and then put 5,000 traps on the walls, that's me at my 10,000 build limit. But you can manipulate the game to essentially have a 20,000 build limit. I'm not sure if that's the exact number of the limit, but that's how it works. Traps don't count after the limit, but they count before it, if that makes sense. I'm sure I explained that fairly well. If you, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. You'll figure it out. You can, uh, I'll probably put a wall there as well. So wall launcher, knock them down there. And then back behind this bad boy, we're going to get our pyramid. We're going to build two ramps like this. And we're going to go over the top of these. And then we need to go across one. And we'll go up like four. Because that'll be plenty high. I think three is plenty high, but I think I need to go over this side a little bit more. So what have I got there? I've got it's one, two, three, four, five wide and that's two by five here. You know, it's yeah, two by five there and then three by four there. And the whole purpose of this is this, this is a, a lobber shield. So what will happen is all the freaking lava bomb, all the flingers and lobbers that spawn, they normally want to run over here and fling at your base. So they'll just run here and because they can't fling, they just stand here. Or they'll do a cheeky and go this way, but you can easily stop that by coming over here, placing a wall and you place a wall launcher on this. So anyone that comes here just gets dinked back. And then what I like to do is I have, where are they? These bad boys here. So I have the heal attach building perk. So you place one of those on the backside and it'll heal it. So you don't need a constructor to heal it. Especially if you've got that perked up to gold, which I do not because I'm a noob. But yeah, that'll just keep them delayed. And you can obviously block off all this side as well. So they don't want to walk around. But they're very inventive, the flingers and lobbers. Like if you block that and block that, if they can't get through, they will walk all the hell way down here and come like up and around but like pfft, it probably takes them the four minutes of the wave to get there so it's not terribly detrimental so you can like block this off as well you don't want you don't need that and that'll just even if they do want to come this way they're gonna have such a trek it's not even gonna be worth it like by the time they get back to be able to throw at the stuff freaking wave will be over Oh yeah, that's the tunnel for this side. Obviously, you upgrade all this to level 3, or else your walls will just get shit on. Especially these bits here in the block off. These bits, you yeah, absolutely, especially these front ones, want level 3. Because this is the biggest deterrent for making them go this way. I'm just going to do mine real quick now. At least the front pieces. Even though that's open, they'll still just be like, Oh man, look, a wall. I'll just break right through this and just be absolute douchebags. But yeah, that's... That's the uh, east side done. You just gotta trap it up. Like basically, thing is the easiest way, laziest way to trap is just put wall launchers on all of your walls that shoot them off of cliffs or shoot them off of corners or whatever, and then just put floor spikes here. Just all the wooden floor spikes of these bad boys. These bad boys. Literally chuck them on the whole thing if you want, and then all wall launchers. It really doesn't matter. As long as you get that set up, you could just sit here for this wave and they'll just constantly be getting recycled down there and having to walk back up. And you just sit here and kill them if you want, or you can just watch them get recycled. It doesn't, it doesn't particularly matter. Now this side. This is the north side of your home base. Shit spawns up. Yeah, right where that goddamn lava bomb is. And then the same on that side and then like down here and stuff. Obviously, this lot wants to walk up here, this lot wants to go that way, and that lot wants to go that way. Then we're going to force them into wherever the hell we want them to go, which will look like this. We'll start here, here you go. They leave one empty tile, we'll go one, two tiles down. We want them to come into there. We'll block this off. So they have to go into there. And let's put walls on that, walls on that, and then walls up here and this is this should be enough of a turn like they're gonna have to want to break through that that and then the wall behind it or they could just walk to here and have an empty path 
Then we'll go a wall there. This is just to split these off so they don't all just pile up the middle and bust the shit out of this. Now these guys, we want them to come into like here. I think, um, definitely want them to walk there. But I'm probably going to lower these walls so I can build stuff over them. And then we'll go like that. So you're going to want to block this off or else these cheeky mongrels that spawn here will try and get this way. So we're just going to grab some walls off that wall, whack them across here and Made a big dirty block off. You don't need to probably don't need to build that one, but just excess extra stuff. Got that one there. Check that one there. Let's go, fucking nuts. It doesn't matter. Yeah, build all your tunnels first, and then come back and trap them. It literally won't matter. You could build as many goddamn walls as you want. So like, I'm just gonna go and freaking overkill the crap out of this. Actually, I really want to block this off here too. Just in case something gets through there. That'll do that. That's that's heaps of walls. That's freaking heaps of walls. It's probably too many. This is just to get them to all walk into here. We want them all walking into here. Coming down this way. Coming past here. Into this area. The easiest thing to do here is... I could probably build a wall launcher there. Let's do that. And that there. So they'll come up and then they'll get hit by this wall launcher and get shot back. Yeah. I don't want to lower this wall. You're going to want to block this off as well. You can like go and build your little pyramids inside of these. Give them less reason to come around this way. We'll block this off. The other thing is flingers and lobbers spawn on this side. And if you've got this blocked off and we're going to build a lobby shield over this, they'll walk around here and come up the back side of your base. Then so you can literally just duck one of these bad boys up here. Oh, I'm just to be pyramids. And now they have to walk all the way around there. It's a little bit extra walking, but... You just get out in front of them, you can just kill them. Or just kill them when they come up the side here, it doesn't matter. Uh, I think I'll just go low wall there and a low wall here. Yeah, that'll do that. And we're going to go up one. This is going to be all of your roof traps. Just want to cover all of this in roofs, essentially, wherever it is. Oh my god, I can't jump properly. Uh, how far out is that? That's, that'll, do, that'll do that. I think I don't want that that high. I want that. Oh, no, that'll be right. I can probably get away from doing this as well. I don't really want to build... How far down is that? One, two, three, yeah. I'll build that there, that'll be fine. Don't need those anymore. The reason I built that like that so high is I can put ceiling drop traps on that and even these ones here they fall three, three floors, so that's one, two, three floors, so they will fall onto stuff down there. And it's just basically drop traps. If it hits stuff on ramps, it knocks them back down it, so it's like it's an extra wall launcher. You can put a wall launcher there as well. Alright. And then here, we're going to do these low walls, if I can edit. They've got our four low walls there on these two tiles, and then behind them, we go one, two, one, two on either side. Oh, we could get three on each side. And then that'll be that. And then this is literally all wall darts. So, 
these bad boys. Knock them on there. And then on the inside of these, you want your dynamos because they can go on the low walls, these things. So you can put them on there so that enemies that come in here get hit by the dynamo and they'll get hit by the wall dart. Dynamo on this side, wall dart on that side, which is more damage than the cannonballs. And then you put your three straps on the floors. That'll keep them frozen. And then just do one of these. You can go broadside there, broadside there, wall dart. Build a drop trap there, knock stuff back down. And from here we go one tile there so we can go up. So you want to be two tiles high. The reason you want to be two tiles high instead of just building them like on this floor is if like a propane gets in here, the propane expl explodes in a, in a one tile cubed radius. So if a propane explodes here, it'll kill this floor, that wall, that wall, and the roof, a wall if it was there, and a wall there. It'll blow up all of that. It'll blow up the whole cube. Whereas if there's things up here which are two cubes away, it won't it won't ever kill your roofs. So they'll just constantly be killing stuff. And you literally just layer that with um electric fields. Just put your nine electric fields. So if something gets to here, it'll get hit by your freeze trap. A dynamo, a dynamo, a wall dart, a wall dart, that electric field, that electric field, that electric field. That one, that one, and that one. So anything on this tile is just going to get eviscerated. So you're going to be laughing if it gets to that stage. And the same for here. Like something here is going to get hit by all nine electric fields. Dynamo, wall dart, dynamo, wall dart. It's going to be frozen by the freeze trap. So it's just going to get destroyed. You can put a wall dart or a launcher there, depending on what you want to do. And then all these, these ones at the back here, you'd make... Uh, electric fields because they can electric fields hit in a in a three by three radius so I'll show you how that looks this is your three by three so if an electric field was on this oh, let's go up one more so if the electric fields there it can hit anything on any of these tiles especially if like it's latched up like this because it won't be able to shoot through this wall, but if it's just got a, a if you've got an electric field there and a clean line of sight, it'll hit anything on any of these tiles. And because it shoots more than one floor, like even if there was something like on this floor, it'd hit anything on any of these tiles. But it doesn't, it doesn't go, it only goes two tiles down. So if you build it three high, it won't work. So if you build it, oops, you build it that high and build it on there, It'll only hit this one single tile. It won't have the AOE anymore. So it'll basically be freaking useless and you better off using a drop trap if you want them that high. Because it hits the same amount of tiles but can impact stuff and knock them around. And then all these can just be electric fields. These ones up here. And then from, from like here. Oop, I don't want to build out of that. You can probably get away with building like a two tile high bobby shield just because you can. You don't need this, I don't think, but if you want to just be super cautious, chuck him two tiles high. And that'll make sure no wings that spawn here can chuck at your base. So that's all drop traps. All electric fields is pretty much the only things you put on roof tiles. It's the standard, just all wooden floor spikes to slow them through here. And then when you get into the straight, so the bottom of this ramp, you can have this as a floor spike as well. But these last two you want as um, freeze traps. Where are they? These bad boys. Just so that stuff gets stuck here, getting absolutely massacred by these traps. So these would be a wall launcher. Darts. Wall launcher. Uh... Probably darts on that and wall launcher on the back side. Wall launcher, darts, wall launcher, and then wooden force spikes. And then these here, these little corner pieces I've got set up. You put a dynamo on this one, dynamo on this one, and then the same here and here. And then behind them are just wall darts, wall dart and wall dart, so that they get to here, they get hit by a dynamo and a wall dart. 
and then here they'll get hit by a dynamo and a wall dart, a dynamo and a wall dart. So it's just like dynamos on low walls with a wall dart behind them are just as good, if not better, than broadsides because they reload faster. Broad broadsides have terribly long reload speed. But yeah, that's that's that set up. So that's the main one. Once you've built a couple of amplifiers, these are the only two tunnels you'll need because once you build this amplifier, stuff doesn't spawn this way anymore. And then once you build this, it doesn't spawn that way anymore. I will show you how to build a tunnel for these sides. You just can build a super basic tunnel for these. So I'm out to here. You want to block off the backside. Just a basic block off. And then you'll have your wall, 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 wall spike there. And literally, that that's literally it. You could build a, a thing there as well. Build a thing there. Chuck one of those there. Make them walk around here. You can put a um. Oh, I can't do it for some reason. What if I do that? And this can just be a floor launcher to have extra knockback. That'll be a wall launcher, wall launcher, wall launcher, wall launcher, floor spikes. And then you can just have a drop trap there. Drop trap there. Oh my god! If I can jump to the height I want to be at. I need to do that and then that. Get rid of that. I don't need either of those walls. Literally, that's how simple that one is. I mean, I might put a thing there. Because it's very unlikely that they spawn on these these two sides. They're mostly going to spawn that way or that way. And then once you build the amplifiers, they only spawn on those sides. They're still a small, basic one. Just a little recycler. You want to um block this off as well. So they don't walk up there, so they actually walk in the tunnel you built. So there's wooden floor spikes, wall launcher, wall launcher, wall launcher. Spikes, wall launcher. Oh, actually you can build a floor launcher here because I built that recycler, so it'll launch them up and they'll get dropped back down there somewhere. Uh, wall launcher there, spikes, dynamo if you want. But literally if you just stand here, you're about to kill anything that comes up this ramp. These will just be drop traps because it knocks them back down the ramp. That's that side done easily. Like, I don't think I got a wave on that side when I was doing mine because I did my first round and then I dropped the amplifier there. So I had to build over that way. And this side is just is very similar. You want to build it on the closest side to the edge is where you want them to be. So you want to block off the inside lane. Did you want them on the edge so that you can build wall launches here to knock them back down? You just want to recycle them back down. That's half the battle is just stalling. You can just go full lazy and just drop trap there. Wall launcher, drop trap. Probably put a wall darts there and there. And the same here, you can just chuck this on like that. Chuck your very, very basic little tunnel happening. I want to reset my pyramid. If you want, you can. Even build like a little kill box here. Oops, not like that. Wall there. Wall there. And just have a whole little tunnel set up. So they spawn. I think they spawn down here on the bottom one. And I'll have to walk through here. And I'll go around this bad boy. Into here. So you want to force them in there. And you can just load this with whatever traps you want. The easiest, laziest way to build any trap tunnel is just wall launches and wooden floor spikes. So you can just wooden floor spikes all of this up. And then wherever there's like a, a wall they can be shot back out of. So, so here you could just build wall spikes, wall launcher. They'll get here, they'll get recycled instantly back out. And they have to do it again. And then this one, wall launcher, we'll shoot them back down here. They'll walk back up. So here, for example, you'd want a wall launcher on this wall, not that wall. So that when they come in, they get hit by this and get shot back down here. You don't want one here because that's going to shoot them forwards through your tunnel. You don't want to help them. You want to inhibit them. So you want a launcher there, whatever you want there. Darts, dynamo, I don't care. You broadsides here if you want. I don't really care what traps you place. It's just half the battle for these is just getting your wall, the floor spikes and your launchers. Because most of them are time-based waves and the kill ones 
you should be able to kill with your weapons anyway. So you can put a wall launcher here, and then it'll shoot them into here, and you can just trap this however you want. Broadsides, broadsides, freaking retractable spikes, gas trap. I don't, I don't particularly care what you place there. It's just the floor, floor spikes, and then a launcher here. Don't put one there, because that'll shoot them forwards through the tunnel. Put one here, shoot them backwards. Because it'll shoot them backwards into the one that's here, which will shoot them into here and kill a whole bunch of them. Or if this one's needs is reloading, it'll shoot them further back and I'll have to walk back past it and get shot in there again. Damage traps. Wall launcher here, we'll shoot them down there. Hopefully not on top of this. If you're worried about them being on top of that, you can um like a little catcher so it'll launch them hit that and they'll drop down there and walk around and then i'll launch you here i'll launch them back out there somewhere and then use spikes and a dynamo or something and then drop traps on these and that'll that'll do your ssd one that's once that's all trapped you'll just you'll be able to do any waves on this starting one you gotta do ssd one and two and then you can place this amplifier and that one doesn't matter which one you place first but Whichever one of these sides you don't like defending from, I guess. Um, yeah, and that's that's it for SSD 1. I think I've got all the block offs shown, yeah. Yeah, so this is the only the only issue you might run into is like the flingers on this side rotten to freaking walk all the way around here, but we've got all this trapped up. By the time they get around here they're just gonna get they're just gonna get stalled out. It's not gonna matter. If you built it like this, you can AFK your SSDs because you need to kill stuff. Just drop your drones, use your guns, doesn't matter. And that's the SSD one from scratch. I know I didn't build any of my traps, but like I said, I'm trying to build all of my tunnels and then place traps. Oh, I still got all that over there. Um, because I can save the building spaces. But yeah, that's the SSD one. I hope that helps you guys get through your first one. And if you liked the video, like the video. If you liked it, subscribe. Leave a comment and let me know anything else you'd like to me to explain about this. If you like it from scratch or if you'd rather me build them all and then have the tunnels and show you them already pre-built. Or if you like me showing you how to build it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.